Greetings, fellow humans. Bad Mark here with another transmission from Mech Tech Keyboards. And today, taking a look at another Akko, but one that I actually have, but this is a different version. This is the Via version. Though I suspect they also made some internal improvements as the weight of this Via version. It's a 5075S. This one's the Via version. I have the 5075S barebone seems to weigh just a few grams more so i have not done a tear down today i am just showing you what the keyboard has stock out of the box now this is what it looks like once fully built yes i did replace the knob um but i must say i was very impressed how well this sounded now i i reviewed the 5075b a while ago and i don't know if i just received a a unit that just didn't make it all the way through QAQC, but it just did not sound all that good. Once I received the bare bone though, I was actually pleasantly surprised. Uh, I think I got that one on sale for right under $40 and was actually very pleased with how it sounded and how it felt. I thought it just, it sounded much better than the preloaded or the pre-built 5075B with a uh, Trima. Today, we're dealing with the VIA version, which having QMK and VIA out of the box is great. Now, this does list as a... It, the manual for this keyboard does say QMK. Now, Akko has very recently added several new keyboards uh, to the QMK repo. And because this one has QMK listed on it, I'm going to assume it will also be making it into the repo. The only thing that for download is the PDF as well as the JSON file. Now, the JSON file basically just gives the instructions to Avaya of, you know, here's the key map. This is the layout so that it can be programmed. It's not necessarily a firmware file. It's just more of a description of the keyboard for when the keyboard has not yet been integrated into QMK and via source then they will just come up automatically by their device ID. So today I I took this uh, out of the box. Like I said, it does say QMK on it and found it to be a very nice keyboard. So out of the box stock, we're looking at a weight of 698 grams, a chin that sits at 20 millimeters, a back that sits at 30 millimeters with a default typing angle of seven degrees using the first set of included flip out feet brings it up to eight degrees of typing angle and the last set of feet uh, will give you a height or will give you a typing angle of 12 degrees. Now this is a south facing three and five pen hot swap compatible PCB that comes with plate mounted stabilizers, but does have uh, the does have the screw holes or the compatibility for PCB mount stabilizers. When I come back to this, I will see which ones fit. I do have some Akos as well as some other brands. So I want to see if it's only fits with Akos, PCB stabilizers, or it will it work with others. I do believe the PCB is 1.6 millimeters in thickness, but I don't know as of yet because I haven't opened it. So don't quote me on that. Um, now this, the VIA version is only available in black and white. I know the original ones was available. I know the one that I had picked was blue. I believe they also had pink as well as black and white. Today we're, we are building up the black version of the 5075 S via and S stands for wired and W or B stands for Bluetooth or three mode. As far as I can discern, I haven't gotten any official memo on that. So in the box, uh, we find that we have the manual. We have a keycap puller. We have a key switch puller. We have a USB-A to USB-C cable. We also have a baggie of extra gaskets in case. I think they, these have a different thickness if we want to go in and change the flexiness, um, which I kind of like the way it is right now. I don't like too much flex, just enough flex for sound uniformity as much as possible. So for first, I'm going ahead and trying out some Akko piano switches, which I had bought a while ago and... I, the box that they were in got 
pushed behind another box and I'd completely forgotten about them. So I pulled them out. Um, I'd been wanting to test them for a while. These are completely stock and uh, they really, they, they sound like marbles falling on a granite floor. It's, it's a very satisfying pitch. Um, there was hardly any ping to speak of. And I think they fit quite nicely uh, with the aesthetics that I'm going with. For keycaps, I chose some ABS Double Shot Cherry in the Dolch or Evil Dolch colorway. I think they fit the look of the keyboard quite well, uh, especially knowing that we have the, the two-tone or the piano uh, key switches below. With this having the side RGB as it does and the selection of RGB, I'm pretty happy with it being that it's a 50, well, it's on sale for 50 right now, but I believe the regular retail price is $59.99 for Avaya 75%. This was unheard of even a year ago. So having this as an option is awesome. I would like to see the QMK source so that I can make modifications. But as of right now, I can program it as the way that I like it. And I'm going to go ahead and use it for the next week just to test drive it. But I must say, I was impressed with how this sounded. I believe, despite, like I said, on the Akko, the other 5075 that I have, just the regular bare bone cloud driver, I also loaded up Akko switches on there. And don't get me wrong, it sounds and feels pretty good. But this one is, is significantly better. I don't know what they've done but I will open both of them up and compare sometime here in the near future. So after loading this up, I went ahead and changed out the knob to a reddish one just to give it a little bit more flair. Um, but the black one that comes with it is decent and good enough. So after putting this beauty together, I went ahead and did a sound test and I'm, I am thrilled with how it sounds. I think this sounds excellent. Like this is one of the few keyboards that I'm like, if I never modded this, I think it'd be fine. Stabilizers are all quite good. The sound of the keyboard, while not loud, it has a pleasant bottom out. And it's not muted either, so it's right there in the middle. Could I bring some more life into it? Absolutely. Will I be doing that? Yes. Okay, so to configure the 5075 with Via, there's just a couple little things we have to do first. We have to go to the Akko website and to downloads, and we have to scroll down or search for 5075 via. You can download the PDF if you like, but it's just a electronic copy of the manual that comes in the box. But what we're looking for is the JSON file. Now, once we download that file, just keep a reminder of where it was stored go to use via.app in your browser and then there you're going to go to the design tab if you do not see the design tab go to settings and select show design tab in design tab you're going to want to go in there and load and go and find that file that you downloaded at this point it will ask you to reauthorize or authorize if you haven't already done so and you should be able to go to the main screen and now have the ability to fully configure your keyboard using Via. So I plan to mod this in the near future, and I'm going to mod both this one and the standard one and see if I can get maybe two completely different tones out of it, like maybe go really deep thocky for one and really loud clacky for the other. I hope that you guys enjoyed the build. If you have any questions, always leave them down below. So I'll go ahead and leave you guys with the sound test of the Akko 5075 buy a version loaded up with piano switches from Akko and double shot evil dolch keycams until the next transmission keep calm and keyboard on